Some rural areas are facing the prospect of being marooned or flooded out by rising water. Ron Catano is packed and ready to go. His family photos and valuables are in the trailer and he's put food in carry totes. He moved the rabbits and chickens and their automatic feeders to higher ground. He and his family and dogs could get out in less than an hour, they figure, should more heavy rain or hot weather melt so much mountain snow that gushing water overwhelms the rivers and channel that surround their tight-knit, rural central California community and give it its name, the Island District. The water is coming this way, said Catano, who started a Facebook group to help organize his neighbors. I am preparing for the worst and praying for the best and that's all we can do. After more than a dozen atmospheric rivers dumped record rain and epic snowfall on California, a reservoir that typically stores water upstream is expected to receive three times its capacity. Catano and his neighbors in the Treeline Island District, home to a school, pistachio orchards and horse ranches about halfway between Los Angeles and San Francisco, could soon marooned by rising rivers or flooded out. Water managers are concerned that the spring snowmelt in the Sierra Nevada will be so massive, the North Fork of the Kings River won't be able to contain it and carry it toward the Pacific Ocean. Much of the water is being channeled into the river's South Fork, which winds through the area to fill a vast basin more than a century ago, that basin was an enormous body of freshwater, the largest west of the Mississippi River, known as Tulare Lake, that would grow in winter as snowmelt streamed down from the mountains. But over time, settlers dammed and diverted waterways to irrigate crops, and the lake went dry. Now, Tulare Lake reappears only during the rainiest years, like this one, covering what is now a vast swath of farmland with water. Today, paved roads vanish beneath the lake's lapping waves and utility poles and trees jut out above the water, vestiges of land living put on hold. Fields that typically grow wheat, tomatoes, and other crops lie underneath. David Merritt, general manager for the Kings River Conservation District, said the Pine Flat Reservoir about 50 miles upstream can hold up to 1 million acre-feet of water, but is expected to receive more than 3 million acre-feet this spring from the melting snow. Officials have been forced to increase the flow of water out of the reservoir to make space for more, Merritt said once we're at capacity, now you're putting a lot of stress on those conveyance channels, Merritt said. It's a very fast-moving stream and it's very deep right now. Island District residents have revived a decades-old network of neighbors for the first time since 1983 to assist each other in the event of a crisis. The last time the Island Property Protection Association activated, there was no such thing as text messages or even emails to quickly spread the word, said Tony Oliveira, a former county supervisor and the network's administrator. In a week, more than 200 people volunteered to help neighbors through the network, and the group's website received more than 4,000 hits. It's going to be four months of holding our breath, Oliveira said. The winter rains were welcomed by California's parched cities and desperate growers, who have been grappling with intense drought for the past several years. The state has long tended toward wet and dry periods, but scientists at University of California, San Diego's Scripps Institution of Oceanography have said they expect climate change will lead to drier dry years and wetter wet years. What will determine how communities fare now is how quickly the weather heats up. If temperatures remain cool, snow will melt slowly, with water gradually flowing from the mountains. But a hot spell could send massive amounts of water churning through rivers that could potentially overflow, officials said. A beaver or a squirrel that tears a hole in a levee could also bring trouble. It isn't the first time Kings County, home to 150,000 people in the fertile San Joaquin Valley, has faced these challenges. Many longtime residents recall when Tulare Lake reappeared 40 years ago. Officials believe crops will remain underwater much longer this time due to the massive snowpack, said Dusty Ference, executive director of the Kings County Farm Bureau. To date, 
More than 60,000 acres of farmland have flooded, he said. It also returned on a smaller scale in 1997, said Nicholas Pinter, associate director of the University of California, Davis Center for Watershed Sciences.